I know programming can be hard, especially when you are a beginner and shuffling from courses to courses looking for the right one and the right opportunity. I've been in your shoes before and I know how it feels. When I was learning programming, I was finding it hard and difficult to cope up. So I've implemented these tips and they have helped me a lot in achieving my goals. And I'm sure if you implement them, they will help you in your programming journey. And I'll challenge you to try out these tips and if you get a bad result, come back to this video and comment. Enough with the talk, let's start. So first, try to always understand the fundamentals. I know how you feel. When you start any language, you feel like you already know the language. Then you don't pay attention to the fundamentals. You try to skip the fundamentals just because you feel they are easy to understand or you feel like you already know them. When starting any language, even if you understand the fundamentals, but make sure to spend time on them because once you understand the fundamental of every language it becomes easier for you to understand the advanced concept but if you don't understand the fundamentals and then you try to understand the advanced concept then things become overwhelming and then you become confused then that will end up making you live in the course and looking for the next course or the right video for you which will affect your learning journey so make sure to always understand the fundamentals don't take it as if you already know the fundamentals. Just like I said before, even if you understand the fundamentals, but make sure to spend time on them because there's always something new for you to learn in every course or lesson. So next, writing on paper. I know, it feels easy, just writing on paper. But it gets hard when you don't write on paper. Once you have something on paper, it's easier for you to remember it. Once I start to learn any language, I always make sure to get a fresh book. Then I'll dedicate that book to that language. Then I'll start from fresh and use the whole book to learn the language. I make sure to write every detail from the course or the lesson on the book or the paper. This way, it's easier for me to understand everything I learn. Writing on paper seems very easier, but it will create a significant impact on your learning journey. So I challenge you to always buy a new book or look for pieces of papers and make sure to always write everything important for every course you take and I'm sure by the end of the course you'll thank me later. Next is creating real world projects. So once you start to learn anything, make sure after you finish the course or the lesson, try creating real world projects. For example, you can look at problems you are already facing yourself. Then you can look for applications or projects you can create to solve your own problems. Creating real world projects is more important than even learning tutorials because creating real world projects makes you face a lot of challenges on the way and then you learn from those challenges or mistakes because learning from mistakes is far important than not even facing the mistakes at all because mistakes are the only thing that will challenge you to go and learn more and mistakes are what tells you that you need to set up so my next challenge for you is that whenever you finish any language look for a real world projects like i said before take yourself for example what problems are you facing for example you yourself you need an application to track your course journey then you can create an application to solve this issue. Once you start creating the application, by the end of the application, you'll face a lot of challenges and then you'll learn a lot from those challenges and those setbacks. Next is take breaks. you fail and then you come back. Always make sure to take breaks whenever you feel overwhelmed. Coding is something that can be overwhelming and hard. So whenever you are facing problems, make sure to take a break, clear your head or walk along the beach or even visit nature, just go out and take a break. Don't just sit and kill yourself because once you are feeling overwhelmed and then you feel like, okay, it's a must for you to finish the course or to finish the lesson, then you will not even understand everything about that lesson. Just make sure to always take a break whenever you are feeling overwhelmed and when you think things are not going right. Just take a break, clear your mind and come back. And once you even come back, you even get new ideas and new inspirations you have gotten from either nature 
or just going outside. Next is scheduling your learning hours. So always make sure to schedule your learning hours. For example, you can pick two hours a day and then you can dedicate it to the course you are already taking. Doing this, it will make sure that you stay on track and it will even decrease the chances of you feeling overwhelmed and falling out from the course. And make sure the hours you are dedicating is not very long. You can look at your current position and you can look at the hours you can learn and make sure to dedicate those hours learning. Schedule the learning time. For example, you can say from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. or use it for programming. And after that, just close your laptop or close the programming course and then do something else. I know how it feels when you are learning something and for the first time, you are always happy, then you spend a lot of time, then things become overwhelming, then you leave the course. This is what happens when you don't schedule. Make sure to schedule. Once the time is up, even when the course is getting interesting, just quit it because the time is up. This way, the next time you pick the lesson, you become happy before even starting the lesson. And lastly, find something you love. Do it before you start programming. I know, it's so easy. Finding something you love and do it before you start programming. But this will create a significant impact on your learning journey. For example, just look at your hobbies. What do you like doing? Is it singing or is it dancing or is it even going to exercise or hanging out with friends? Do something you love doing before you start the course. This way you are always happy before even starting the course. Whenever you want to start a course and you are feeling sad or you are feeling overwhelmed or tired, then the course becomes hard for you to take. So make sure you find something you love to do and do it before taking the course. This way you are already happy before even starting the course. And what brings a better output than a happy starting? You are not alone. Whatever you are feeling right now, just know that a lot of people too are going through the same emotions you are going. So you are not alone in this journey. Everyone has been in your situation before. And if you have the courage and the perseverance, you will soon get through it and then you'll be happy in the end. And like I said before, I challenge you to implement these tips. Find a piece of paper, write down all these tips I've explained and make sure to practice them for even one month and I'm sure it will create a significant impact on your learning journey. And if you want to learn more about front-end UI UX and productivity, be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll be waiting for you in the next video.